So we are back with another tipping video, and last round was very, very interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Still a game tonight, um, but I think Brisbane will be fine in that match, I really do think. Nothing will be surprising there. Uh, Adelaide <laughs> with another win, fantastic win against the Giants, the Dogs with a fantastic win. Uh, Carlton had a great comeback. Melbourne, no words. Uh, Sydney were good though, um, for most of the game, but disappointing to lose that, I think. Anyway, let's get on to the first game, uh, of the round tomorrow night. St Kilda and West Coast. Uh, West Coast probably should have won, or it was, it was a tough match, could have gone either way. Dogs completely outplayed them for that, for the majority of the match, um, and coughed up a four-goal lead as well, so should have won that, I reckon, the Eagles. Uh, the Saints, they beat Hawthorne. They weren't convincing, but they got it done, and that's just what the good teams do this year. When they're struggling, they still find a way to win, and that's exactly what they did. Um, I lean towards the Saints in this one. I do think um, the Eagles, I don't know, they, they can win this one. It can go either way. It's a, it's a bit of a flip of the coin, this one. But purely because it's in the hub, I'm going to St. Kilda in this one. And this match, the match of the round, Geelong and Richmond. Uh, Geelong with a oh, brutal, brutal uh, smashing against Essendon. Richmond last played Fremantle, who were a bit ordinary, a bit, bit uh, strange. But, you know, these are the type of matches that Richmond turn up to, so... They turned up against West Coast. They turned up against most of the good teams this year. So I know Geelong. They've been flying. They've been superb. And I wouldn't be surprised if they win this match by any means. But I'm leaning towards Richmond purely because it's Richmond. And they just, you know, they find ways to win against the good teams. Um, I think it'll be close. I think it'll be very close. But I think the Tigers will win this one by about... Half a kick, half a kick. Uh, North and Freer. This is an interesting match, but Fremantle, they've been playing some very good footy. Uh, if you hear that, I apologise. Um, the notifications, if you hear them. <laughs> um, I hope not. But Frio, I think, win this pretty comfortably. Um, and still a chance to play finals, technically. A percentage, though. Yeah, m maybe not. <laughs> uh... Essendon can't make finals, they're out of the um, race for finals. Port will win, Port will win. Giants and Melbourne, this is an interesting match. Giants, hugely disappointing. The Giants, hugely disappointing. This match sort of shapes up as who's going to make the finals and who's not going to, you feel. If Melbourne win, Melbourne probably makes finals. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Melbourne turn up against the better sides. I can't call Giants good though, after they lost to Adelaide. Uh, I'm going, I don't know. Who should I go? Who are you going in the comments? I am so stuck by this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Purely on the performance last week. The Giants... Oh, it's Melbourne. Lose to Sydney and Frio. Back-to-back -back weeks. Giants just have one bad game against the Crows. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going the Giants. I'm going Giants. Um, now, nah, Adelaide, they have a big chance to make it three in a row. They've played some exceptional footy. Like, they played pretty damn well against the Giants. Um... Uh, Blues with a fantastic comeback. 40 points down, was it, in the first quarter? I think Blues will get it done. I think they'll get it done. Uh, Hawthorne, Hawthorne and the Western Bulldogs. The Doggies with a fantastic win against the Eagles. That was so important for their final hopes. Um, that could really be the difference between making it and not making it for them, which it probably will be, actually, in the end. Um... I don't think Hawthorne are good enough to beat the Dogs. They have a massive chance, I feel. I feel like this is a game they can win. But 
I think the dogs will get home in this match and jump up to 7th on the ladder according to the prediction so far. Uh, the Swans and the Lions, as, as well as the Swans have been, they've been in pretty fine form despite dropping that game against the Blues. Lions will win this match. Uh, and this is a match Colin will need to win, otherwise they ain't making finals. Simple as that. Um, Suns can win this, we'll see how they go tonight. Um, Alright, if they come close to Brisbane tonight, I give them a shot in this one. Especially with a depleted Collingwood outfit, with barely a midfield, barely a forward line. Not sure if they're getting any of them back, you have to tell me, because I don't know. Um, if you're a Collingwood supporter, that is. Um, yeah, I, I'll go Collingwood in this one. I do think they'll get it done in a closest match. Cl cl Close-ish match. Um, yeah, Collingwood will win that. And this is the next round. So um, those are my tips for, ooh, hi, for um, <laughs> round 17. Port will stay on top. Brisbane just... Second on percentage, Richmond and Geelong ran out the top four. St Kilda and West Coast, pretty solid in those home final positions. The Pies and the Dogs ran out the top eight. Giants, Carlton, Melbourne and Freo round out the uh, bottom half of the eight. They're not even in the eight. What, what, whatever, you, you get what I mean. And SN Gold goes Sydney, Hawthorne North and Adelaide round out the bottom six. The bottom five, sorry. I can't do math. I apologise. Um, but yep. Let me know who you've got this week. Some very good games. Some very good games. I'm very looking forward to these. this one, Richmond Geelong. St Kilda West Coast will be great as well. Um, and yeah. Let me know if Adelaide can make it three in a row. That would be remarkable. I mean, you know, never count them out against, <laughs> against Carlton, though. They can be a bit strange. But, you know. Very interesting round coming up.